Sadie, I got you something so you can track mud onto the tan interior of my brand new car. How do you feel about that? Yeah? I think she's excited. So as a lot of you guys know, I actually ended up just getting a new car and my new car has a tan interior, which is, you know, a little bit interesting when you have a dog in your family. So I went ahead and I got this lovely thing for my puppy. This is by Travel Inspira. It's a luxury car seat cover and a safety belt. And it's supposed to help put her in the car so that if there's ever an accident or something of that nature, she doesn't go flying. Um, Sadie is a Bichon Frise. She doesn't necessarily shed. She's about 14 pounds and she is a hair dog, which means that she doesn't shed the way a normal fur dog would. However, Sadie does get a little bit excited when we go to the park and she likes to go into the lake and she likes playing in the sand and things of that nature. So by the time we leave there, she's usually pretty much covered in mud. So what I'm hoping that this is going to do is that this is going to prevent her little mud stains from getting all over the tan interior of my car. Now, I know that this is a little bit of a different video. We usually do beauty stuff, but I actually started my channel out to be a review channel, not just to be a beauty channel, and somehow it ended up just becoming a beauty channel. But I did want to go over this because I know a lot of people who watch my videos also own dogs. And I thought that this might actually be interesting to some of them. So let's go ahead and unbox this puppy. Now I'm trying to follow the unwritten law that if your dog is asleep on you, you don't move. And I shifted forward to talk into my microphone and Sadie, it, stop it. <laughs> Sadie is behind me. She's not quite asleep, but she has wedged herself behind me and, uh, She's laying up against the sofa. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this, trying not to disturb my dog who is desperately trying to get me to go to bed. So, okay. Okay, so this is the package here and I have not actually had it out of the box as of yet, as you can probably tell. Now, I'm assuming this is supposed to fit the back seat of cars and SUVs. Now, I have a small SUV. I think they actually consider the Mazda CX-5 to be a crossover vehicle, but it is a small SUV. So, there is the safety strap, which is actually what I am most concerned with, and I believe this is it here. So, you've got... Here's one end here, and then this, I'm assuming, is the bracket that's supposed to actually hook onto the dog. I've got a lot of other pieces here, which we are going to find out about in a quick moment. I just have to go over the directions. And let's open this puppy up. Wow, this is huge. Okay. Okay, so right off the bat, you've got... This section out here is like a, not really a burlap, but it's like a nylon kind of thing. And your straps are on here. They look like they are stitched on pretty well. As you can see, everything looks to be stitched very well. This part in here is the actual like nylon area that's going to stop the mud and water from getting all over the car. It does have a zipper. Let me see if I can get this all the way open. <laughs> It's got side panels to go up along the door, and it does have, oh, more straps. I think this is the section that's supposed to go in, so it's supposed to face up. I'm not 100% sure just yet, because I don't know what's going on with this part. So, we will find out, but this is now open, and I'm assuming because there's a zipper on it, I'm assuming you can kind of zip it into itself for storage. 
but we will find that out as well. Okay, so all of the instructions for putting this on are on the back of the box, and this is the diagram that's supposed to help out as well. Um, the part right here is supposed to be either to drop down the front of the seat, or you can actually arc it up to connect it to the backs of the seat so that the dog can't jump into the front seat with you. But you've got instructions for how to take care of it, and you've actually got instructions for how to install it. I kind of wish that this was on a paper pamphlet because I want to throw the box away. <laughs> um, Sadie doesn't get in the car with me a lot. Uh, she doesn't do well on car trips, so she doesn't get in the car with me a lot. So I kind of wish this was on paper instead of on the back of the box so that I could keep it. As it is now, I'm going to have to cut it out and put it somewhere and hope that I don't lose it. It is a fairly large box, so um, this is actually going to be kind of a pain to to keep around, but at least they have instructions because for a minute there I was getting a little afraid that they didn't have them at all. So let's go in and try to get this thing into the car and see how hard this is to actually install and use. Okay, so because of the width of my garage, I can't really show you the installation itself, but I will tell you how it's done and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Hi, Sadie. Hi. <laughs> She's very excited. Um, anyway, when I was reading the directions, I noticed there are a couple of anchors that you're supposed to put in and that like rubberized area that I saw, that's actually a non-slip grip. So the silkier section of this cover is actually going to be laying down on the seats and you're going to have the rougher textured one up on the top, which is actually not a bad idea because it'll keep the dog from sliding around the car while you're driving. Um, and that non-slip piece is supposed to make it a little bit easier if your car has, like, leather seats. Now, my car doesn't have leather seats. These are material. Um, it is very, very tan, as you can see, which is why I wanted to have these. Let me go ahead and install these real quick, and then I'll tell you guys how easy it was to put in. And I will also show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, guys, this was insanely easy. Um, pretty much what you've got is on the bottom of this, you've got two handles that have like what looks like a small piece of PVC pipe. Now you'll actually take those and shove them down between the top of the seat and the bottom through that little crease there. That anchors the whole thing in place. Then you literally come up and you pull it up over the headrest here like this on both sides. And you can do the same thing up front if you want to engage this hammock like I did here. Sorry about the light. Um, if you want to engage the hammock, you just put it up over the, over the front like this. And these do have clips on them, so if you can't, like on this here, I couldn't slide the straps up over the, head, over the headrest. So I had to clip them down on the bottom. Not too terribly bad. It was just a little plastic clip. Now up here, what I did was... This, these pieces here are the pieces that come up to protect the doors, okay? As you can see from the side here, kind of makes this like a gigantic basket, okay? Now what I did was I clipped one end onto here, brought the other end up through the handlebar on the top, and then connected it again to the bottom. So it just hangs up there nice and secure. Now this also has some openings down here on the bottom, as you can see. They are on both sides, so you can open them up and you can get to the connector for the seatbelt, which you need to do because that strap there is actually the strap that connects to the dog to keep them secure inside the seat. And what that does is it connects into the seatbelt connector. As you can see, Sadie is hooked up to her collar by that little safety strap. It does give them room to move around if they're a little dog. Sadie is only 14 pounds, so she is a little girl, and she connects to that quite easily. It's very secure. She's already pulled on it and jumped around. She doesn't seem to be sliding around the car. What are you doing, Sade? Um, she doesn't want to be in here. She wants to go to bed. Um, but she seems to be digging it, at least somewhat. What do you think, little girl? What's your opinion? You like it? Do you like it, little girl? I think she likes it. She looks happy anyway. What do you think? 
Yeah? Okay. Well, this is the back seat protector. And Sadie appears to like it. We'll be giving it a try out tomorrow. Uh, actually driving around someplace. Not taking her to the PARK. But I am going to be taking her out for a little while tomorrow. So she's going to be getting her first ride on this. Which she's very curious about, of course, as you can see. What do you think, kid? I think it's bedtime. Okay, well, there you have it, guys. Very easy to connect. Seems to be pretty well made, and she seems to like it, although she is, for some reason, trying to get into the front seat now. And I'm going to take this little girl to bed. What do you think, little girl? You want to go to bed? You want to go to bed? Yeah? Say goodnight. Good night, YouTube. Good night. Now, I did want to point out something about the Travel Inspira. Um, just from the care instructions, this thing is really easy to take care of. Um, literally, it's like a shake it off or hose it down with a garden hose kind of thing. Now, it does say, this is what I wanted to point out, it does say that you can stick it in the washing machine, but they don't recommend it because it's going to take off the waterproof coating. So, I'm not personally going to stick mine in the washing machine because Sadie is a lake hopper, so I have to make sure that there is some, there is some waterproofing. But, pretty much, you can, you can hit it with a vacuum cleaner or shake it off or just spray it down with a garden hose don't stick it in the the dryer. It does it does actually say not to stick it in the in the dryer. So you've got to like hang it out outside, but that's not really much of a problem. Um, I mean, heck, you can garden hose it. <laughs> uh, but I just wanted to point that out that if you do decide to stick it into the washing machine, you are going to be doing away with their waterproofing, which is for me anyway. For me and Sadie, that's not optimal. So. We're going to garden hose it, and it's never actually going to see the inside of our washing machine. So that was the full review of the Travel Inspira Luxury Car Seat Cover and Safety Belt. And we are planning on getting a whole heck of a lot of use out of this sucker. I will leave a link down in the description. So it will be down in the description. If you want to order that, I'll, I'll give you the link. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I try to make at least one video every week. I am trying to make more than one every week, but I haven't succeeded in that every single week, but I'm trying real hard. So as I said, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.